The, the next thing about breaststroke that's really critical is spending as little time as possible in the inefficient positions of the stroke or parts of the stroke. So Cody, you're gonna swim another 50 and I want you to go the first lap where you kind of have a slow recovery of your, um, of, your feet, of your feet and arms and then I want you to speed that up on the second lap, okay? No, no pull out again. All right, ready, go. So what you'll notice here, this is one of the most common errors that we see in breaststroke is where he spends too much time in the recovery phases. So as he recovers his feet or he recovers his hands right here, all right, that's the most inefficient body position you can be in in the breaststroke. So on the second lap, I asked Cody to speed those portions up and that's what we coach a lot here at Indiana. So he's gonna speed up his recovery right there, really shoot his hands over the surface of the water. And then the other thing we're looking for is the fast heels. Kicking the feet up quickly and closing them. Is that all right? That was great, Cody. Okay, now what I want you to do on this next 50 is hold the glide, do kind of a maximum distance per stroke with fast recovery of the arms and the legs. And you're gonna, you're gonna hold that streamline as long as you're able without dropping down in the water too much. All right, ready, go. Okay, now what I've got Cody, Cody doing here is a, it's, a, it's like a maximum distance per stroke breaststroke. And I'm trying to get him to glide right there as long as possible. The best breaststrokers in the world take very few strokes, so they're in that body position right there longer than, it, than their competitors. So as he comes off the wall, you see a nice body line, and he's trying to make his recovery of his arms and his legs fast so he can spend plenty of time in this streamlined, flat body position, which is, which is right at the surface of the water, ideally. All right, ready, go. All right, on this last 50 that Cody's doing here, this is about 90% effort, and the timing of breaststroke is really crucial. You'll notice that as his kick is finishing, he's kicking his arms forward in the recovery. All right, and as you see him come off the wall here, he gets his pull ready to go, and then he kicks his arms forward. That's ideal timing in breaststroke, and that's what allows for you to stay out front of the stroke and he does a wonderful job with that. Great, great job there, Cody, that looked awesome.